Joby Aviation have just jumped up 17% at opening bell. They've now surpassed Archer Aviation's market cap. But what's going on? This is breaking news, so let's talk. Right guys, I'm here today for a quick video talking about Joby Aviation and their quick 17% jump at the opening bell. I was covering an opening bell stream and all of a sudden it's all kicking off. I've jumped in to see exactly why it's jumping up 17%. We're going to see what that means. Is there anything happening outside of this news? And what am I doing? Guys, my name's Liam and I'm one of the Hustle Brothers here. You do know us as being one of the biggest channels in the VTOL industry. So make sure to bang that subscribe button. We do run two live podcasts a week. Plus, we cover daily videos. But today we're here to talk about the 17% rise in Joby Aviation. What I'm going to do, without further ado, I'm going to jump straight across to X and let you know exactly what has happened across the industry. We have had the acceleration of piloted flights between Joby and Archer, but I think Joby have just set the scene and planted their flag down in this whole sector. So jumping across to X, we can see that Joby within the last two hours have put out a press release where the future of cleaner, quieter urban travel just lands in Dubai. Today marks a significant milestone on our path to commercialization. We have successfully completed a series of piloted, full transition electrical vertical takeoff and landing flights in Dubai. Now we will get into the video but I quickly want to jump into what they've said in the press release first of all. So in summary, Joby cement global lead in air taxi industries with Dubai flights and beginning of commercial market readiness work. So they've delivered their first aircraft to the UAE and successfully begin commercial market readiness work with multiple pilot vertical takeoff and landing wingborne flights. They're advancing towards air taxi operations in partnership with Dubai's Road and Transport Authority and Dubai's Civil Aviation Authority and the UAE's General Civil Aviation Authority. Now this does establish that Joby are not waiting around for the FAA. They want to get into the United Arab Emirates as quickly as possible. And I still believe it'll be that Q1, Q2 of 2026. His Excellency Matar Al Tayer, Director General Chairman of the Board of Executive Directors of the Road and Transport Authority in Dubai, witnessed the first flights and ground operations, underscoring Dubai's commitment to advancing air mobility. And then, in partnership with Skyport's infrastructure, construction underway on Joby's first commercial vertiport site in Dubai International Airport is on track for Q1 2026 completion. And that does tie in with that target the Hustle Brothers did set for them. So then if we want to jump into that video, I don't know about you, but I did get pretty hyped when I seen this. This is the first time we have more or less seen Joby take the lead when it comes to the PR. We're constantly commending Archer Aviation on their ability to get the PR and get the investors hyped. In this video, we're starting to see Piloted flights, and yes, the likes of Bagger Holden. Look, mate, we have seen these EVTOLs fly with a pilot on board. Guys, please let me know. Watching a video like this, does it get you hyped about the industry? Is it a little bit of fluff? Or could you see us completely smash that? SMG consultant report that came out saying that Joby won't be ready for commercialization till around mid 27 and Archer won't be ready until 2028. We've gotten a little bit of feedback across the whole community that they don't believe Joby Aviation will be at the Olympics in 2028. I completely disagree. We've seen that Delta Airlines are the official airline of the US 2028 Olympics. And therefore, why would Joby not be there? Yes, Archer Aviation are the official EVTOL of 
the Olympics. But why would Delta not want to bring Joby along for the ride? This video did give me a little bit of thought that Joby are the silent steam train in this whole industry. They do get things done over the line and then bring it out with a PR where I think Archer can sometimes fall into the trap of announcing PR and then trying to get your pilot flights, for example, over the line. And then it made me think, let me look at the insider transactions over the past few months and see, is there an indication what's going happening in Joby Aviation at the moment? What are the insiders thinking? Now, guys, I have been using Gainify. And to be fair, I probably will purchase the premium edition. I was using Alpha Spread. But guys, let me know what software do you use. But over the last three months, we have seen a 367.3 million injection from an insider within the last three months. Guys, it's breaking news. I haven't had time to jump in and justify who this is. So please let me know in the comments below. Right, we're going to jump back to the studio and have a bit of a discussion. So am I jumping into Joby Aviation at the moment? No, I don't buy into these pumps. Look, I think it's a good bit of PR, but we were expecting them into the UAE. It is nice to see the piloted flights. And guys, if you want to hear more about the 2028 Olympics I was referring to, make sure to check out this video next.